Hello everybody, this is Robin. I am Katahdin Cooking Mama, and today I'm getting organized. And part of my organizing skills is to, to even be organized at my Bible reading. This is a 52 week Bible reading plan, and I'm gonna start with Tuesday, because that's today's date, which the first Tuesday would be Joshua 1 through 5. So let's get started. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this, Jordan, thou and all these people to the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel, every place that has the sole of your foot shall tread upon that that I've given you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness in this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of Euparates, I think it says Euparates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your, co your coast. There shall be no, any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. And I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto the fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, and thou mayest Observe and do accordingly all the law which Moses thy servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper within wherever thou goest. The book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe and do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shall make thy way prosperous, and then thou shall have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare your vid your vigils, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan and go to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you and possessed it, and to the Remanites, and to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh. Spake Joseph, I'm sorry, some of these words are big, and I'm trying my best. Saying Joseph, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you a rest, and hath given you this land. Your wife, your little ones, your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on the side of Jordan. But you shall pass before the brethren, armed all the mighty men of valor, and help them. Until the Lord shall give you your brother in rest, and he hath given you, and they that have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them, and ye shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which God, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on the side Jordan toward the sun rising. And they answered Joshua, saying, All thou commandest us we will do, and whatsoever thou sendest we will go, according to the hearken unto Moses all these things, so will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God will be with thee, as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that does rebel against thy commandment will not hearken unto the words, and all thy command commandeth him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Chapter 2 
and the and Joshua the son of Nun went up to Shit Shittum, two men and the spies secretly saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. Even when they went, they came into a harlot's house na named Rehab and lodged there. And he was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men and, and hither to night of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho set unto Rehab, saying, Bring forth these men, the men, and come to thee, which was entered into thine house, and you can come to search out of the country. And the women took the two men and hid them, and, and said, Thus there came men unto me, and I was not whence they were. And it came to pass after the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark and the men went out, whether the men went quickly, went, I wot not pursue them after quickly, for ye shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house, which, and hid them of the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order of the roof. And the men pursued after them in the way of Jordan unto the fords, and as soon as they, as they which pursued after them were gone out and shut the gate, and before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof, and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen among us, and all the inhabitants of the land fate because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you, and it came out of Egypt, and ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites, and they were on the other side of Jordan, Shid, Shid, Shidon and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. And as soon as they heard these things, our hearts were, did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you and the Lord your God. He is God in heaven above and in the earth beneath. Now therefore I pray you, I swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you the kindness, that ye should also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true token, and that they sh will save alive my father and my mother, and my brethren and my sisters, and all that, that they have, and deliver our lives from death. And the men answered her, One life for yours, if ye yet or not, is our business. And it shall be when the Lord hath given, given, given us the land, and we will deal kindly and truly with thee. And she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she did dwell upon the wall. And she said unto them, Get you to the mountain, lest the persecutors be returned, and afterward that you may go your way. And the men said unto her, We will be blameless of this thine oath, which thou hast made us swear. Behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window which thou didst let us down by and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household home unto thee and it shall be that whosoever shall go out the doors of every house to the street his blood shall be upon his head whosoever shall be with thee in the house his blood shall be on our head, if any hand be upon him, and if thou art this our business, and we will quit out of thine oath, which thou hast made us to swear. And she said accordingly unto the word, So be it. And she did send them away, and they did depart, and she bound the scarlet line in the window. And then they went, and came unto the mountain, and abode there three days until the persecutors were returned, and the persecutors sought them out all the way, but found them not. 
So the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over and came to Joshua the son of Nun and told him all these things that befell them. And they said unto Joshua, Truly the Lord hath delivered unto our hands all this land, for even all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us. Chapter 3 And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan, and all the children of Israel and lodged there before, and passed over, and began to pass after three days. And the officers went through the house, and they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests of the Levites bearing it, ye shall be removed it from your place, and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, and about two thousand cubic by measure. Come not to near it, that ye must go the way by which it must go, for you have not passed this way, therefore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priests, saying, Take up the ark of the covenant, and pass over before the people. And they looked up the ark of the covenant, and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I began to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that you may know that I was with Moses, and I will be with thee. And thou shalt command the priest to bear the ark of the covenant, saying, When you are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, you shall stand still in Jordan. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come hither, and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know the living God, it is among you, and you will without fail drive out before you you the Canaanites, and the Hittites and the Hevites, and their per Persecites and the Gergeshites and the Mardites and the Jeusites. Behold, the ark of the covenant, the land covenant of the Lord of all the earth, passed over before you unto Jordan. Now take therefore the twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe of men, and it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord and Lord of the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan, and the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon the heap. And it came to pass, when the people removed from their tents to pass over the Jordan, and the priests bearing the ark of the covenant before the people as they bear the ark they would came into jordan and the priests the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water for jordan overflowed with all the banks all the time of the harvest then the waters which come down from above stood and rose upon the heap very far from the city adam which it is beside zaratan and they came down towards the sea of the plain and the sea salt sea failed and were cut off and the people passed over the right against jericho and the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of jordan and all the israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over jordan chapter four and it came to pass that all the people were clean passed over jordan that the lord spake unto joshua saying take the twelve men out of the people and out of the tribe a man and and command them saying take ye hence out of the mist of jordan out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm twelve stones and you shall carry them over with you and leave them in a lodging place where they shall lodge this night and joshua called the twelve men and they had prepared out of children of israel out of every tribe of man and joshua said unto them pass over before the ark of the lord your god into the mist of jordan and take up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder according unto the tribes of, number of tribes of children of israel that it may be a sign upon you that when your child children ask their fathers in time to come saying what mean ye by these stones and you shall answer them that the waters of jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the lord and it was passed over jordan the waters of jordan were cut off and these stones shall be a memorial unto the children of israel forever and the children of israel did so 
as Joshua commanded, and they took up the twelve stones out of the midst of Jordan, as the Lord spake unto Joshua according to the numbers of the tribes of the children of Israel, and carried them over with them unto the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. And Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests which bear the ark of the covenant stood, and they were unto this day. For the priests which bear the ark of the ark stood in the midst of Jordan until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to speak unto the people according to all Moses commanded Joshua. And the people hasted and passed over, and it came to pass that all the people were clean, passed over, and the ark of the Lord passed over and the priests in the presence of the people, and the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh passed over, armed before the children of Israel, as God spake unto them, about forty thousand prepared for war, passed over before the, the Lord unto battle, in the plains of Jericho, on the day that the Lord magnified Joshua, in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him, as they feared Moses all the days of his life, and Joshua and the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Command the priests that they bear the ark of the covenant, ark of the testimony, that they come out of Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, saying, Come up ye out of Jordan. And it came to pass, when the priests that bear the ark of the covenant, and the Lord was come up out of the midst of Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up into dry land, and the waters of Jordan returned unto their place, and flowed over all his banks, and they did before. And the people came out of Jordan on the tenth day, and out of the first month, and encamped in Gigal, in the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of Jordan did Joshua pitch in Gigal. And they spake unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall... When you ch unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, and saying, Which mean these stones? Then ye shall a let your children know, saying, Israel came over Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan before you until it was passed over, and the Lord your God did to the red seed when he dried up before us until we were gone. Then all the people of the earth might know the, the hand of the Lord that is mighty that ye might fear the Lord your God for ever. Chapter 5 And it came to pass when all the kings of the Amorites were on the side of Jordan westward, and the kings of the Canaanites were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of Jordan from the children of Israel before they were passed over, and the heart melted, neither was the spirit in them any more. Because the children of Israel at the time of the Lord said unto Joshua, Make these sharp knives, and circumcise against the children of Israel. And the second time, and Joshua made them sharp knives, and circumcised all the children of Israel at the hill of the foreskins. And then this cause that Joshua did circumcise all the people that came out of it, Egypt. They were all meals, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness by the way, and they came out of Egypt. Now all the people that came out of circum that were circumcised, but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way that they came forth out of Egypt, then they had not circumcised. Before the children of Israel walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land, which the Lord swore unto the fathers that he would give us a land that floweth with milk and honey. Then their children, whom he raised up, up in their stead, then Joshua circumcised that were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass, and they were done circumcising all the people in their abode, in their places in the camp, till they were whole. And Joshua, and the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore the name of the place is called Gigal unto this day. And the children of Israel encamped into Gigal, and kept the Passover the fourteenth day of the month. 
at even the plains of Jericho, and they did eat of the old corn of the land of the morrow. After the Passover, unleavened cakes and patched corn in the self same, same day, and the manna ceased on the morrow, and they had eaten the old corn of the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more, and they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, and he lifted up his eyes, and he looked, and behold, and stood a man over him against him with the sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said, Art thou for us or our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but is the captain of the host of the Lord, and I am now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto this, his servant? And the captain of the Lord host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from thy foot, in thy place where thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. So I hope this finds you well. I hope you have the peace that passes all understanding. And I hope that you've come to know the Lord. And if you need prayer, please comment down below. Thank you for joining me on this blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.